Okay, so this lesson is on the student's t-test. And some of you are familiar with this uh, from biology, but we will do a more simplified version. There's only a few things that um, we are gonna be testing and, and we don't go fully in depth. That's why we didn't do this with our IA uh, because we're not, it's, it's a minor topic. Um, so just wanna review a couple things uh, because sometimes people wonder, when do I use which test? Well, most of the time here, it's gonna say, use the t-test or use uh, find R. But in general, so the, the entry is gonna look similar. Okay, so correlation is what we've been doing. We're comparing relationship between two variables. A t-test uh, compares the means. And it was, uh, there's a practical example, this guy, William uh, Seeley Gossett, there's a little video that, that's on the PowerPoint uh, that you can watch if you want to. It's kind of interesting. You might watch it in class of where this came from. But basically, he was sampling uh, from different fields and wanted to be able to compare them without sampling everything in the field. So you could use this if you, uh, like you wanted to say, if the donuts that you were buying were uh, fair on Thursday and Friday. So you buy eight of them on Thursday and weigh them and buy 10 of them on Friday and weigh them and see if they were the same. This allows you to compare those things. Um, so a lot of practical applications in science. There's these two videos. Um, you may have time for that in class. So some key things here. Okay, since the t-test is a comparison of the means. Okay, that's what we're comparing. We're not comparing a relationship. We're seeing do they have the same average? Um, and so our null hypothesis, we still have a null hypothesis, it is we assume that their means are the same. We're assuming there's no difference in the donut you bought Thursday and the donut you bought Friday on the average weight. And then there's an alternative hypothesis that they are not the same. So they're either the same or they're not the same. And then um, there's a couple differences here. One's a two, called a two-tailed test, and that's the one that just says they're not the same. That means they're either uh, heavier or lighter. We don't care which one, it's either or. And you take a stats class in college, you'll go more in depth on a two-tailed or one-tailed. Um, the other option is a one-tailed test, and that would, we we're saying, we think they're heavier, or we think they're lighter. That's what that means, okay? You're gonna to need to know how to do this in your calculator. That's the most important part. Um, and so we're gonna do some samples. Please pause, enter the data in your calculator. Don't just watch me do it um, so that you can check to see if you got the numbers to work out right. Okay, so uh, there's two different groups giving the same test. He wants to see if there's a difference, a statistical difference between the means. Okay, we can find the mean and see if there's a difference, but that doesn't mean significantly different either way. We, we have a way to measure that, okay? So write down the null and alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis, we're going to call this the first average and this the second average. So the null is just saying that the two averages are equal. Even though we're going to be able to see they're not exactly the same, they're statistically equal. The alternative, he just said any difference. So that's a two-tailed test. So we're going to say that they're not equal in some way. Find the t-value and the p-value and then make a decision. The thing that's good here is we're going to use the p-value to make our decisions. We're going to find t uh, so that you learn how to find it so that later on in, um, when you take stats at a higher level, you'll, you'll have an idea. That's all IB is going to require you to find the t-value and use the p-value to make comparison. Okay, so just like with correlation, we put them in into two lists. This would be a great place to pause and put your values in the list. Obviously, uh, you can't see all my values here, but the second list is shorter than the first list. So we're having uh, those two values entered. Okay. Pause it. Now under uh, your calculator, under stat test, uh, you are going to select the two sample t test. Uh, there is another single sample t-test. We don't do that. We just do the two sample. And here's the things you're going to have entered here. So we are inputting data from our list. The other way to do it is to input uh, 
information on statistics. Obviously, list one, list two. The frequency is one. We're only gonna we're not gonna be doing frequency lists. Not pulled, and then you're gonna hit calculate. And when you do that, uh, we oh yeah we selected the uh, whatever the alternative hypothesis is. That's what you select there. But right now we're on that one. So when I run this test, the t value I get is right there. So negative point two three five. And the p-value is 0.816. That's, that's the information you need here. There's other stuff there that you can look at if you want. It shows the two averages. So the two, the two tests did not score the same, okay? One was an average a little bit higher, but we want to see if statistically they were the same. And so then we make our decision. If the p is low, reject the hope, right? So the P is 0.816. That is, is that less than 0.05? It's not. So statistically, these two are no different, even though there is a difference. So we've gone from like basic stuff like, yes, they're the same or no, they're not the same. We have reasons why. We have some justification why. All right. Okay, next example. Again, Strongly encourage you to pause, try doing this in your calculator. Make sure you can push the buttons the right way. Oil company has fuel that will increase the distance traveled for every liter of fuel. I like to write this right away, just so I know what I'm gonna be entering um, when I go to decide which of the tests to do. So we wanna see, they're saying that the uh, new liter the new fuel is going to be more efficient, I think is what they're going to want us to find. Okay. So the null and alternative hypothesis, the null hypothesis is that the miles per gallon is the same, whether it's new or old. The alternative would, would be to say that we have this new fuel that will increase the distance traveled. So the alternative is that the second one is greater than the first one. And it's important to set that up so that when you go to uh, put it in your calculator, you can push the right buttons, all right? All right, so you put in your calculator, pause it, enter it, run your test. Now here's what's different. I put them in list three and list four because I don't like to delete all my lists. So I changed that to list three and list four. You might keep using list one and two, I don't care, all right? Here's the difference. Um, I needed to select uh, the inequality that matches my alternative hypothesis. My alternative hypothesis says the second one is bigger than the first. Or if you look at this, since this is the same as saying uh, the first is smaller than the second. So that, that's important. It's a one-tailed test. You don't have to know that. You just have to know what to select there. Again, everything else is the same. Calculate it. So I have a p-value of 0 0.00561, a t-value of negative 0.283. You can again see, obviously, the second average is higher than the first average. Is it statistically significant? That's what the t-test, there's a, there's a big chart of values, but that's all stored in your little calculator. You don't have to worry about that. So is that p less than 5%? Well, it's 0 0.00562, which is definitely less than 5%. The P is low, reject the hope. We are rejecting the null hypothesis, which we are saying the new fuel has a significantly higher average than the old at a 5% level. That's our conclusion. Okay. Next one. This one, uh, I'm going to pause it, and you can uh, put it in your calculator. And I'm going to show you the steps on the calculator to make sure you're seeing those same buttons. I already entered these in. Okay. So I have the two lists in here. Uh, I'm going to read it and make sure uh, I know 
if I'm if I'm doing a one tail or two tailed test. So I know the null hypothesis is they're not is that x1 and x2 are not equal. The alternative though, I need to find out. We're just trying to find out whether they weigh less, whether the tree, the shaded tree ones weigh less than those in the sun. So that's going to be x1 is less than x2. So when I go to put that in my calculator, I'm going to do stat test two sample t. Now I have I have these in list one and list two. I already put them in. And I want to test to see if the mean of the first is less than the mean of the second. In other words, we think the sunny trees grow more. And all I gotta do is calculate it. So my T value negative 0.687, which means nothing to you right now uh, because you don't have uh, a table to look at and you don't need to have that. Um, and the P value is 0.251, that's actually more important. That is not less than 10%. So we are gonna fail to reject Okay. Sorry. We are going to fail. Sorry, I'm getting myself too many buttons. Let me pause here a second. Okay. That is incorrect, that conclusion from the book. They did the wrong conclusion there. That book answer is not correct. All right, they threw me off. So since our value, our p-value was so big, we fail to reject. The p is not low, so we are not rejecting the null hypothesis. back up here I have to tell the book they got an error so p.251 is not less than 0 0.10 so we failed to reject all right keep one more example that was a brutal okay again same thing put in calculator let's get the the two averages on here so this is called x1 this is called x2 so the null is the saying that the means are the same. We got basically some plant bulbs. And all it says, we want to find out whether one was better than the other. It doesn't say uh, the first one was better than second, second was better than the first. We want to find out if one was better than the other. Okay, so our null hypothesis is going to be that they are exactly the same. Statistically, the alternative two-tailed test, they are not the same. Okay, so put in your calculator. I have these already stored in list three and list four. So I'm gonna run the test to sample T. And I got to, the, the one thing I got to change is change that to not equals because it's a two tailed. Boom. There we go. So check the values out T.300, P.769. And you can, again, look at the two means. So. We have the right conclusion in the book this time. So the P is 0.769. That's definitely not less than 0.05. So we're not going to reject. We're going to fail to reject because the P is not low. Okay. 
So if the P is less than 0.05, we reject. In this case, the P is not, we fail to reject. So even though when you look at the two means on, on the calculator, when you look at the two means, the first one averages 1763 and the seven, second one averages 1715, it's not statistically significant. That is, that is what we determine from this information, okay? I realize that video went a little bit long, uh, but I think it's important to have those examples. Uh, it's a pretty easy calculation if you have some good examples. We'll practice some more in class. Thanks for playing.